Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Grounded video. We've got a special little class build for this one that's way out of the ordinary. Not a lot of people expected it. I was messing around, and I wanted to see what we could do with this. So you can see we're over here by the Red Ant Hill, and uh, you see this building right here. This is my bomb factory. That's right, we made a Grenadier class, a Bombardier class, Grenadier, whatever you want to call it. So using the uh, Splat Burst here. So this class, I'll start off right away, is expensive. You have to get all the ant eggs, you have to create your... Uh, your original brat bursts and then collect a ton of sap and a ton of web fiber just to make them into the uh, into the splat bursts here so you can see how long this took me so we had to get a ton of these i made over 150 uh brat bursts and then uh, we did some testing so i burned through a bunch of them then made some splat bursts and that's the one that we uh we made the uh, class for the brat bursts aren't going to do very much damage so th those are still really only uh used for Blowing up, blowing up walls and stuff like this, but we found out that these uh, splat bursts are actually really effective at killing some of the insects in here, especially the roly polies and ladybugs. So let me get over here into a kind of a neutral area over by the base and we'll uh, break down what we got going on here. So obviously our weapon of choice right here is going to be the splat burst. The, uh, the issue with the splat burst is sometimes the throw will just go completely out of left field. You'll be throwing, trying to throw it straight, and it'll go completely opposite direction. So using these is expensive, um, but the damage that it can do to uh, roly-polies and ladybugs particularly because they're weak to uh, smashing damage. So I'm guessing anything with like a carapace or a hard shell is going to be weak to this. We've tried it on wolf spiders. I did a stream the other day. We used it on wolf spiders, uh, stink bugs, ladybugs, orb weavers, everything. And while it does pretty well against uh, the wolf spiders and stuff like that, um, the ladybugs and roly polies definitely didn't stand really a chance. I think we got maybe a two shot, but definitely three shots on the majority of them. So the armor here is uh, interesting. So we got grub goggles, which you can swatch out, swap out with the eye patch plus. We did that in the test and couldn't 100% verify if we were getting that extra damage from the uh, from the eye patch plus, but it does increase your stamina. So we we also have max stamina here. We got the aphid slippers for just that quickness. So we're going to be running around just chucking bombs at these insects and getting out of the way. Um, you can look at our mutations. Really, doesn't really matter. I believe the coup de grass, and I'm not 100% sure, but through testing it, uh, me and everybody that were uh, watching with me, it seemed like coup de grass was giving us a critical hit chance on uh, some of the throws. So we'd have to do a lot more testing on it, but either way, um, we're going to keep that one on. We've got meat shield just to make us feel warm and fuzzy about having more health. We've got buff lungs for the max stamina. We've got the quickness just to double up on how fast we're running. And then we've got spicy safety on here. This one you can really throw, uh, switch out with anything. Um, if you're around wolf spiders and you're throwing the bombs, then maybe throw on Mithridatism. Uh, you can throw on cardio fan, throw on juicy mom jeans, whatever you want. But that's the setup we're going with these ones right here. And so we've got weapons and everything, <clears throat> which we're not really using. And the smoothies too, uh, they do increase the attack. But again, it's really hard without doing like hundreds of hours of testing to see if the uh, if the increased attack is going to do that extra damage. So we're going to go ahead and actually get the uh, eye patch plus, just in case it does work. Then we want that extra damage on there. We had a ton of fun, and I think this is just a crazy build. Obviously, not something you're going to roll with uh, all the time, but uh, definitely something fun to try out. So we got a ladybug right here. The difficult thing is you kind of have to get right up in their face to throw it on them to make sure it sticks, and then just uh, run like hell and get out of the way. So let's see here. Got it right on her. Boom, big damage. Let's get another one on here. Oh, not sure if that one's stuck. It did not. All right. See, we're just trying to get out of her way because she's going to wreck us. There we go. Run. And look at that. Two shots. And we made a big old mess, as you can see. And I mean, it's going to destroy all your smaller insects, your soldier ants, your... Uh, Infected weevils and everything. We even tried on infected ladybugs still did the same got the same results The wolf spiders are a little difficult because uh, they do move around a lot more But we'll go show you guys what it's like on them. So we do have a wolf spider up over here 
a little difficult to throw at because all these little holes in the leaf, the collision detection in the game is pretty terrible. So trying to use these as a weapon was uh, actually pretty difficult. It might actually bounce off on something here, but we'll give it a shot. Oh, we got him there. Look at that. See if we can just get it close to him if he gets too close to it. Missed him there. Oh, he's just hiding. Oh, that got on his leg. He goes back up here. That one missed. See the collision detection? Not the greatest, but we got him. Three hits for a wolf spider. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so now we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna head over near the trash heap by the uh, rolled up hose and see if we can't get uh this orb weaver real quick oh we missed Running away. Boom, got him. <laughs> so it's a really fun class to play. If you've got a ton of extra web fiber and sap laying around it, it actually doesn't take too long to collect that stuff. So you can get a lot of web fiber, uh, obviously over from the hedge. And one thing you can do is uh, try to get up on a higher area like some rocks or something. Let me go ahead and heal up here. Get up on some higher ground and just have the uh, the orb weavers keep firing web at you. And you can farm a lot. And the sap too over at the, uh, the fallen log, you can get over, I think you can get just about 90 to 100 uh, pieces of sap. And it's going to take five for each splat burst you want to make. So you can get about 20 splat bursts worth of sap over there. But we'll be right back. We're going to head over towards the roly poly. All right, so we're over here by our roly-poly. Now, the biggest thing is you want to watch out for them because unlike the ladybug, they've got their little dash attack. And uh, that thing will knock you out in one hit. So one thing we're going to try to do is just uh, get her with one and see if she'll chase us or spin away and get out of the way. I'll run away. She's coming. Another one. Oh, and we nailed ourselves. That's no bueno. Heal up, see if we can get her. We are making a mess over here. That one's close enough. There we go. And we made a big ass mess doing it. So I think that was four shots, maybe three. I think you can do it in three if you get the critical hit chance, but uh let's see what they got here. Uh oh. Is that gonna get him? See if we can get one stuck to him. Oh, that's on his face. There we go. All right, so that's our Gren Grenadier class. Super fun, super expensive to play, but uh, just something I wanted to try out because it's different than our normal damage that we're doing and definitely different than the normal armor that we're running. You will get rocked if you're not prepared, so just be careful with it. Uh, so that's all we got for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps me out with the channel, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Stay original, my friends. Later.